Balloon sinuplasty is basically a way to open up the sinuses in the lowest key way possible. And so instead of making any cuts, instead of uh, removing tissue, what we're able to do is look in the nose of the camera up to where the sinus openings are, and we're able to expand the, the natural sinus opening. When we're making these openings, we're creating bigger bony passageways. So when we dilate that balloon, it microfractures the bone, and it takes an opening and gets it to however big the balloon is. And so usually we use about a six millimeter balloon, and we create a six millimeter opening uh, for the sinus to drain. And it's not pushing soft tissue around, it is literally creating a larger opening where there wasn't one before. My name is Jeff. I started with my problems about 25 years ago now, and I started with the infections. And then I, it just it was constant, and it would get worse every year. Then I hear about Dr. Candula on the radio, and I, I thought, I've got to go see this guy. My first visit, I was, I was put at ease, I was relaxed. I went in for the surgery, and I was, I was nervous. And I'll tell you what, it was so simple and so easy. There was zero discomfort. I couldn't believe how easy this was, wide awake for this. When I was done, they brought me back. I had to pinch my nose a little bit. My wife came in, grabbed me, and we left. <laughs> it, was, it was that simple. It was real weird, kind of strange, you know, I was like, oh, I could actually breathe right away. <laughs> Which, and, I'm not, and, I, and I can't even stress this enough that I could actually breathe. By the next night, my wife told me I didn't snore all night. The next night, I wasn't snoring. I went back to the gym, no problem. Breathing better, feeling better. I feel, I feel like I've got almost, feel like I get more oxygen and I just feel better. For folks with sinus issues, I think this is about as convenient as you get. Just like going to the dentist's office, it's a process. And once we get things uh, properly prepared, then we're able to get things underway. And it's, it's very low key. So you know, basically, if somebody's got sinus issues, and that gets confusing. Some people know they have sinus issues, they know they have sinus infections, and other folks, they don't. They just know they've got a problem. The upside with the in-office balloon procedure is because it's so low key, there's not a whole lot of, of downside as far as at least giving it a shot. And I think, I, I, I think for folks who have some of these issues and we've made some of those changes, it's almost always more than we expect. It's understandable to be on the fence. I think everybody's apprehensive about going through anything, but the, the potential upside weighed in with the minimal downside, I think is certainly um, the odds are in our favor to, to make a difference. And you know, I, I don't see any reason to, to wait. If you're having an issue with your nose, if you're having an issue breathing, if you're having an issue you know, bringing in air, if you're having an issue sleeping, once I made that decision, it was the best decision I've ever made.